Hi, Hilary from Canine Potential here. I'm going to be doing a video teaching two paws up on an object using the large dog there that you saw in the picture. Um, he's new to me. He is my son's dog. My son and his girlfriend are up from Melbourne visiting and with their dog Oxley. So I have a chance to use a completely novice dog. This dog is a 10 year old dog, um, but he's fit and he's able and he hasn't had much in the way of training and he wouldn't even know the word yes as a marker word. So you will be hearing me say it, but he's probably got no relevance with it whatsoever. So you can see I'm starting with a bowl here and trying to get him to put a paw up on that. He's, he's doing the classic avoiding it at the moment and not, not really sure what he's doing. And um, we persist for a little while and we change things shortly. The whole session was about six minutes. This is his very first session and I have edited it quite a little bit so that it's not quite so boring. So you, I would have persisted on each of the items that you see for a lot longer than you see. So now you can see I've changed object. This is, is a um, balance cushion that I use with my dog regularly. I've put a towel on the top to make it not quite so um, intimidating for him. And again, he's struggling with this too. So he obviously gets into the car and things like that. And they tell him to get jump in the car and he does. So, you know, he's more familiar with putting his paws up on higher objects. So you can see me luring him with some treats to get him to go paws up on that chair. Yes. Good so there we go. He does do it. So we get a little bit of success on that very first session. Good boy. As you can see, he's up. going quite well there. Up. Up. Yes, good boy. Up. Good boy. Good boy. So now up. we go back to a different object. This up. is a, yes. um, a smaller good box. Boy. So we're trying to, to make it um, so that he understands yes. that it's not just tall objects well he puts his paws on but also That's lower objects as well we were trying to work towards well getting him to do paws onto that bowl so, yeah. yes. so this is the second day the very second day the second session and so you do have a thing called latent learning which basically means he's had the night to think about things so this session actually does go a little bit better as you can see he's already putting his paws up on the big box so now we're going to try this platform which i've used in the past with my own dogs and he is having a little bit of success putting his paws up on that platform yes good boy good boy go get it I throw the treat away to relocate the dog so he can come back and repeat the behaviour again. That's a boy, two paws on it. Go back, go get That's a boy. That's what we want. He still wants to give me a paw. So, you know, making it easier, rotating between the two objects can also be helpful. Still doesn't want to really do that bowl. It could be the, the slippery surface. It could be all sorts. Let's see if we can get another point. You As I say, this is his point. second session only. My dogs are being good there, so that's why they're getting a treat there, just for lying down. Yes, Although Kiro decides to now ruin it and come back and, and prove to, the, to us all that she can do it too. You do need to do this um, in order to work with clients out in, in the environment to get them to do two paws up. You need to teach it at home as a separate yes, training good skill. Boy. You are getting this, aren't you? That's enough for today.